What's up, guys? Gold Squad here. I am Rob. And I am Angelo. I am Annex. I'm Andre. And I hope that you guys are all feeling fantastic because... Today, we're going to have a biotechnology shopping haul. So basically, all the products we bought are produced with the aid of biotechnology. And as we show you what we have bought, we will also be answering some questions from Twitter with hashtag AskGoldSquad. But before that, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and click the notification bell for more updates. Let's get started! The first question is from at value underscore official. What is biotechnology? Well, biotechnology lays its foundation in biology. It is a science that deals with both cellular and biomolecular methods that aims to develop technologies and products which can potentially make lives here on Earth much easier. And of course, the development in biotechnology has greatly altered the paths of various fields such as food and beverage, medicine, forensics, and most especially, the industry. So for our first product, it is beer. Beer is composed of water, starch source like barley, brewer's yeast, and flavorings such as hops. Enzymes convert the starch in barley to sugar. The enzymes are activated when the barley is malted, then fermented. During fermentation, sugars are metabolized by the brewer's yeast to produce alcohol and carbon dioxide. Two common tools utilized in industrial biotechnology are enzymes and microbes. So moving on to the next question from RM Gap. Can biotechnology be observed in products they often use? Well, I'm glad you mentioned that. We just had our biotech haul earlier. So personal care products involve biochemicals that are used for the production of shampoo, makeup, and other skincare products. To add to that, sanitary napkins that needs absorbency like tapis and cottons are produced from extracted cellulose fibers that are known to be tough and absorbent. Cellulose fibers that can be obtained from raw materials specifically. Oh, one more thing. Even the clothes we wear, the blankets, and the carpets we use are part of biotechnology. Fabrics are made of polyesters, a synthetic polymer made from fossil fuels. Additionally, production of dyes, Tanning agents, nylon, and polyesters involve the use of biochemicals. All the products mentioned are necessary materials for the production of textiles, for carpets, and upholstery. Products of biotechnology can be observed with the products people commonly use. Even a plastic bag we are using right now is made through biotechnology. This is called a bioplastic. It is made out of biopolymers which make it biodegradable and therefore less in plastic waste. So we hope we satisfied your question at RM Gapi. So have we shown them everything that's inside our bag? I guess so. Hey, why didn't you buy one for us? Well, you did tell me to. And oh, speaking of probiotic drink, I have one more fun fact to share. Cells and enzymes can also be considered biotechnology products, just like this probiotic drink I'm currently having. That's enough about biotech products. Let's move on to the next question by Bobby X. Who? Does biotechnology do more harm than good? Well, that's actually a good question. Just like everything, biotechnology has its ups and downs. One advantage of biotechnology is that it can improve health and reduce hunger simultaneously. It does help to improve the nutritional content of our food supply. Necessary vitamins and minerals can be produced in croplands and this reduces health issues that are related to the lack of nutrients. Another is that it helps us to minimize or eliminate waste products. Biotechnology allows us to create waste products that have better biodegradable properties just like our plastic bags. It allows us to manage landfills more effectively. That way, we can begin to minimize the footprint being left for future generations. However, biotechnology can also ruin croplands. It creates plants that would consume more of the soil's resources, draining the land's ability to support plant growth in the future. The more this technology is used, the more nutrients will be drained from the soil. Even if crop rotation is employed, it would take several years for crop plants to recover from this effect of biotechnology. That's right, Angelo. Did you know that it does not offer any cost savings? Basically, 
It does not offer any savings, as it costs just as much as with growing regular plants or even higher. This means that farmers would still be spending the same costs, and so does the consumer, who would still be paying the same amount of for food items that are produced through such technology. Surely, biotechnology has its own pros and cons. You're right, Angelo. Well, I hope that Bobby X Hoopy is satisfied with the answer to that question. So, I guess that's it, guys. Wait! Before we end our hashtag Twitter Ask Us Gold Team and Shopping Hall, Let's entertain this last question from at one Kalat MT official. What do you think is the significance of biotechnology in the industry? Well, to answer that question, biotechnology has greatly improved different sectors of our society. For example, in the medical industry. Diagnosis of disease would take even weeks, but because of the advancement in biotechnology, diagnosing illnesses now will only take few minutes. And did you know that through biotechnological methods, plastic consuming bacteria was made? Wow! So biotechnology really is beneficial to people. Well, not really. Biotechnology also has set issues. Some methods which uses organisms for experiment tackles ethical and moral issues. Also, maybe today some of the products from biotechnology may be of great help, but we should still continue monitoring the progress of these products as maybe in the future, there would be a possibility that these products can bring ve devastating effects. True enough, biotechnology still has a long way to go in resolving issues and improving our lives. But we can see from the products we have shown a while ago that biotechnology is starting to mold our planet into a better place. You're right, Angelo. Well, now I hope that you know the significance and issues of biotechnology. I hope you're satisfied with their answer at one Canon MT official. Well, I guess that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to tune in for our next vlog. Don't forget to leave a suggestion on the comment box below. Thanks for watching and have a nice day! Bye!